Hello, everyone. It's almost Christmas time, and I'm so excited I get to share another story with you. This one is called The Little Drummer Boy. Most of you have probably heard the Christmas song of that name, or maybe even seen the movie with that name. But this story is so much bigger than a song or a movie. This story is important for Christmas time, but every time of the year. And I'll tell you why. I think this book teaches us the importance of gifts. <laughs> what do I mean? Well, listen up. The Little Drummer Boy. Come, they told me. Pa -rum -pum -pum -pum. Our newborn king to see. Pa -rum -pum -pum -pum. Our finest gifts to bring. Pa -rum -pum -pum -pum. To lay before the king. Pa rum pum pum pum, rum pum pum pum, rum pum pum pum. So to honor him, pa rum pum pum pum, when we come. Baby Jesus, pa rum pum pum pum. I am a poor boy too. Pa rum pum pum pum. I have no gift to bring. Pa rum pum pum pum. That's fit to give a king. Pa rum pum pum pum. Rum pum pum pum. Rum pum pum pum. Shall I play for you? Pa rum pum pum pum. On my drum. Mary nodded. Pa -rum -pum -pum -pum. The ox and lamb kept time. Pa -rum -pum -pum -pum. I played my drum for him. Pa -rum -pum -pum -pum. I played my best for him. Pa rum pum pum pum, rum pum pum pum, rum pum pum pum. Then he smiled at me. Pa rum pum pum pum. Me and my drum. Now it's a pretty simple story, isn't it? He sees the wise men going to visit baby Jesus. They tell him to come along, but he's a poor boy. He doesn't have anything to give him, but he plays on his drum for him. So why do you think that the wise men who brought gold and frankincense and myrrh, why would playing the drum for the newborn king be anything close to that? Well, the first book of Peter Chapter 4, verse 10 says, Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. And the little drummer boy is doing that. He is following God's word. He was given the gift of music, talent on the drum. And that little boy was sharing it with all of his heart. And that teaches us how gifts do not need to cost money to be appreciated or meaningful. Just think about that. At Christmas time, we think of money, 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 spend, spend, spend. We need to buy gifts for everybody. But each of you has gifts inside of you that you can share with others. So... This holiday season, I challenge you. I challenge you to use those gifts that God has given you to serve others, administering God's grace. So if you are really good at math, why don't you help your sister with her math homework? 
if you are just ugh, love animals and you got lots of pets, take them for an extra walk. Give them a good brush. If you're a good listener, why don't you call a grandma who's been quarantined and hasn't been seeing anyone? And just talk and listen. There's so many things inside each and every one of us, and they're all gifts from God. So by sharing your gifts, we're showing God's love through us. Make this world a better place, a brighter place. Make this holiday special and be a gift to someone you love. Merry Christmas.